Hello everyone, this is Maya Kana and I am a psychic who specializes in twin flame connections. And in today's Q&A video, I'm going to be answering the question, is it okay to date during separation with my twin flame? Um, and there are a lot of different perspectives on this question, but what I wanted to do to start was to really give the message that is coming through from spirit, which is that any sort of true love connection that is intended to expand love in the universe is always okay. So if you are in separation with your twin flame and your union is really not viable at that time, then yes, it is okay to date during your separation with your twin flame as long as you are dating for the right reasons, as long as you're dating because you really feel a soul connection with the person who has come in and because you have an intention to be in the vibrational frequency of true love and to expand that frequency on the planet. So that's the short answer. You know, the short answer to this question is yes, it is okay to date during twin flame separation. But there are some things to really consider before you jump into dating a soulmate during separation with your twin flame. And the first thing to consider is what is the purpose of my separation with my twin flame? What is the purpose of this separation? And is this relationship that I'm thinking about getting into, is it serving the purpose of the separation? So, for example, if you are in separation with your twin flame, because it is your intention to heal and because you are having difficulty coming together due to what was unhealed, you really want to ask yourself the question, is this relationship that I'm getting into going to help me heal? For example, if the intention of your separation was to heal, and I would say, you know, in a circumstance like that, if the answer is yes, that it is going to help you further the sort of objective of the separation, then yes, it's fine to get into that relationship. But if you are in separation with your twin flame, you know, for the purpose of healing or growing, and you jump into a partnership or a relationship that's not going to help you heal or grow, then it probably is not going to really be in the highest and best good. You also want to be really honest with yourself and ask yourself, am I running back into something familiar? Because what often happens with twin flames is that at the very beginning, we just feel an amazing exalted state that a lot of people call the called bubble love. But what happens right after that initial bubble love that's shared between twin flames is that there's really a fall, a fall back into a different state of consciousness. And oftentimes during that initial fall after the bubble love stage, oftentimes that's when we experience separation. And oftentimes we also experience the desire to return to something that is more familiar. The desire to return to maybe a more usual or typical relationship with a soulmate or something like that. So be very honest with yourself. If you feel like you're in a state of running because your twin flame connection is demanding something of you that is, you know, uncomfortable and you're running back to something familiar, then in that case, I, I don't think it is a good idea to run back into something that's familiar. If your twin flame connection is viable, if it's viable in the sense that you could be together and that you could be growing together and that that twin flame connection could be your primary connection, if you and your twin flame are both single and you could be together, then I, then, you know, my personal opinion is that you should not, um, be dating.
because although it is difficult and it is extremely difficult, it is extremely difficult to come into union. Although it is difficult and although your connection may be triggering, you know, unhealed aspects and it may be demanding a lot of you and it may be, you know, requiring you to face yourself and to do a lot of healing and maybe you don't want to do that. If you can do that and you can do it together with your twin flame or putting that full focus on just loving yourself rather than loving someone else, then you should. You know, even though you might not want to, you should. Um, so if, you know, if your intention is not necessarily pure in entering into a relationship during your twin flame separation, then you really shouldn't. And what I mean by that is that, you know, sometimes I have heard things as a twin flame psychic and coach, things like, you know, my twin flame really doesn't appreciate me, so I'm going to have a relationship with someone else to make my twin jealous. If it's something like that where the intention isn't 100% pure, it's going to come back to you. Um, that that energy that you put in is going to come back to you. So you really shouldn't enter into ever. You should never enter into any type of relationship or partnership with any intention besides an intention to heal and grow and ex really achieve a true love connection. So don't enter into a relationship with somebody else to make your twin flame um, jealous and don't enter into a relationship with somebody else just because you are afraid of your twin flame and it's more comfortable. And also, if you are going to um, have a relationship with a soulmate during twin flame separation, it's extremely important to be honest with that person. Um, you know, it really can't be overstated. You need to be able and willing to tell the person that you're going to be dating. You need to say to them, listen, you know, I met or I know my one true love or my twin flame and I love this person deeply. That's the person that I want to come together with. But right now, it is impossible to come together for whatever reason. You need to make sure that the person that you're dating knows that you are on the twin flame journey and knows where, what your feelings are for your twin. And they need to be conscious of that and be okay with that. Um, and you should tell them that up front before you are dating the person um, or before you are in a relationship with the soulmate because they deserve to know. And if it's truly a soulmate that's come to you during your twin flame separation, if it's truly somebody who's been brought to you uh, by spirit, then that person will understand. They will understand what you're going through in your twin flame separation and they will be able to help you. So that's one good way to tell if the person that's come into your field was actually brought to assist in your union in some way. And that absolutely does happen. Sometimes the twin flame connection, you know, we meet our twin to spark our awakening and to show us the things that need to be healed. And then sometimes there is that separation and sometimes your guides or your higher self will send in someone during that separation to help you heal, to help you grow, to help you see what's blocking you from your twin flame connection. And then sometimes that, that soulmate will come in and then they'll sort of disappear and you, you will come into to union with your twin flame. So that can happen. Um, that does happen a lot. It's not always that the soulmate that comes in is a romantic connection. Sometimes that person comes in more like a friend. Um, but that is a common phenomenon. I would say personally... Um, if, you know, the times when you would date during a twin flame separation is not if you have agreed to separate with your twin flame for, for a period of a couple of weeks or a couple of months, but, you know, maybe if you're in a separation for, um, a year or a couple of years or something like that, it really doesn't seem viable to come together in your union, um, with your twin flame, then yes, I think in that case, you know, if I were in that situation, with my twin flame, Zaire, and I knew, you know, I, that we weren't going to be able to come together for a very long time or at all, I think it would be extremely difficult for me to date anybody because of the extent of feeling that I have for Zaire and because of how much I'm sure I would feel him at a distance. However, if the right person came into my field and it was a very high level soul connection and I really felt, you know, purely that it helped me to keep my heart open or expand love in that way, then then yes, I would date the person. But it, it would have to be somebody that was clearly brought in by spirit in order for me personally to consider dating during um, a twin flame separation. 
So I hope you have enjoyed um, the answer to this question. Thank you to the person who submitted the question. If anybody else has further questions for me that can really benefit the collective, please email those questions to mayasbrightstarcreations at gmail.com. Thank you for tuning in.